Hello everybody, welcome to the second video of my ES6 for beginners course. ES6 has brought two new keywords such as let and const that we use for variable declarations and in this video you are going to learn how and why to use them and we are also going to see why not to use the old war keyword anymore. Before ES6 for declaring new variables we have used the war keyword but using it made some problems. So that's why ES6 has brought two new keywords for declaring variables as let and const. You will see how to use them very soon, but first let's see what the problem is with using the old var keyword. The first problem is that in programming general, when we declare a variable like var city London, and let's log it to the console, our new variable city is not allowed for redeclaration. However, if we declare the same variable name again as war city and assign it to another city, Berlin, what we see is that our variable is overwritten, but this shouldn't be happen. What it should happen is that when we make by mistake a redeclaration, for example, we should receive an error. So when I change the war keyword to let, this time we receive an error saying that basically the identifier has already been declared. This should be happen like in other programming languages. So this was one of the problems of the war keyword. And there is also a second common problem that the war keyword causes, which is a scoping problem. For example, Let's say we have an if case here and inside the if case I have a variable. So when I log this variable to the console, we see it here. But when I call the variable and try to log it outside the if case, then it shouldn't be accessible because it has defined inside this if block and it's not a global variable, so it should only be accessible locally. If the variable were however defined somewhere up here, then that's okay because it would be a global variable and global variables are accessible from anywhere. So this is also a common problem of the war keyword but when I change this to let and let's delete this then we receive an error which is saying that city is not defined because this is a local variable and should not be accessible from outside. So this is the second problem that the war keyword causes if you are still using the war keyword, you can stop using it and you should replace it with let. Alright, there is also a second keyword that ES6 brings, which is the const keyword. The name const comes from constant and basically means that some value that never changes. For example, our birth date does not change. So let's try it. Const birth date. Let's say equals to 1990 and let's clear this. Okay, now we have a const variable. Now a constant does not change. Later, if I change my mind and reassign the birth date, let's say 2000, then we receive an error. So this is basically how we can use the const keyword. However, variables that declared with let are allowed to reassign later, but they are not allowed for redeclaration. So when I try to redeclare the same variable, we will we will become an error. If you find the video useful, please hit the like button and see you guys in the following video.